Hey, good morning, everyone. I just got, got back from my clinic. I've, I've really never done videos on the outcomes of my patients undergoing cancer treatment before uh, through lifestyle medicine. But this time I thought, why not share the good news to the world? So this patient of mine, let's call him Bob. He was suffering from, from lung cancer. The masses in his lungs were actually preventing him from breathing normally. He had difficulty breathing because the masses were taking up, the tumors were taking up a lot of space uh, that should be filling up with air every time he breathed. So he had difficulty of breathing. So he underwent my 10 day cancer siege program. And while he was on the program, and this was kind of shocking, but his wife, okay, his wife, who was taking care of him during the program, she complained of a wound in her tongue. And so I did a physical and was shocked to see the gaping wound on the right side of her tongue. And it had formed pus and it had a rotting black center. So I asked her immediately to get it biopsied and the biopsies came back. She actually had tongue cancer. So I now had to treat husband and wife so three months after the cancer siege program, the husband, Bob, gets his PET scan and the results came back. And this is really what pushed me to make this video. So let me share my screen real quick and highlight the findings to you. Okay, so these are the findings. I'll try to increase the size of one particular finding. Okay. And this is one of the tumors. So it measures approximately 3.7 by 4.2 by 3.8. It previously was 6.1 by 4.5 by 3.8. So the 6.1 measurement became 3.7, 4.5 became 4.2, 3.8 remained 3.8. That's a huge, even then that's still a huge decrease in size of a tumor, especially of a lung tumor. We're talking about lung cancer here. Lung cancer, as we know, is really aggressive. And yet here, instead of progression, we actually see regression of these tumors. There's another tumor here. This one measured measure, measures approximately 2.5 by 2.1 by 3.0. So that used to be 3.2. So 3.2 became 2.5, 2.4 became 2.1 and 3.4 became 3.0 centimeters. And I want you to note that there was a one by one tumor beside his heart. We can't see that in this PET scan anymore. There's also another 0 0.9 uh, diameter tumor beside one of the lymph nodes in his lungs. We can't find that either. So I'm just completely excited for the progression or for the development in, in my patient. He is literally getting better. Uh, so let's check out what happened to his wife. So the results of his wife were equally as exciting, All right? If you can see here the picture now, uh, May, we're just gonna call her May for privacy's sake. Uh, so May took this picture, May 4th. Uh, I had the 10 day cancer siege program around that time as well. So if you'll see here, this is the gaping wound outline of the gaping wound. Around that, we see pus. So this is still part of the tongue tumor, all right? Really big tumor, really big wound. One and a half months later, June 22, you see that the black area is now a lot smaller. There's less pus, it's less inflamed, and it's a lot smaller than the previous tumor. She also told me that at this point, when she took this picture, she wasn't feeling as much pain as she did one and a half months ago. So that was a good sign, but we still have that wound, right? But August 3, right about the time that she sent the, um, the PET scan results to me, she also took this picture and combined these three here and sent it to me. So if you can see, there's actually no more pus, okay? Um, this dark area here, I'm actually not sure whether this is just a shadow, it's still part of the, of the wound. But if it is part of the wound, uh, that kind of looks like a shadow to me because this is a shadow. This is underneath her tongue, actually. Okay, so I'm going to verify that with her. 
But this is amazing. The shrinkage of that tumor is amazing. And she has no more pus around her tongue. She told me she hardly even feels the pain anymore. So this is all exciting news. Cancer is reversible. We know this from, from studies such as what uh, we find with uh, Dr. Dean Ornish. Dr. Dean Ornish found out, discovered, and he is the father of lifestyle medicine. Dr. Dean Ornish found out that prostate cancer is reversible. And now we see different cancers being reversed. So these things are exciting. This news is exciting. I just wanted to share it with you, share it with the world, because, you know, there is hope. Uh, a lot of people have thought for the longest time that cancer is a death sentence. That is not true anymore, people. Cancer is reversible and there is hope for cancer. So there we have it, folks. If, if you know someone with cancer or if you yourself has cancer, please do not hesitate to contact us. I and my staff are willing and ready to help. If you want to book your appointments with me, just click the link below. And remember, people, remember that there is hope even for cancer. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.